you don't know me, I'm Alexis Dahl. I'm a science communicator, and on this channel, I tell some of Michigan's amazing stories. If you do know me, this video is a bit different than normal, but we'll be back to your regularly scheduled programming later this month. So about a year ago, I made a video a bit like this one, where I talked about an organization I care about called Love Does. To use their words, Love Does has been fighting for human rights, caring for people who are vulnerable, and providing education in conflict zones since 2002. They've started schools around the world, as well as safe houses, prison and nursery programs, and more. They serve about 250,000 people each year on average, and they do this by working with locals and asking what the best ways to help actually are. For instance, last year, so many Ukrainian refugees fled to Warsaw, Poland, that the education system there is overwhelmed. There's just no more room for refugees in local public schools. So in response, Love Does started a school at a local expo center that's now teaching hundreds of students. Overall, you can learn more about them at lovedoes.org or in the video description. But for now, I want to tell you a bit about what they've been doing in Afghanistan. And if you're confused why, hang tight, it'll all become clear in a minute. A few years back, Love Does started a primary school in Afghanistan, and they're currently serving about 100 students. And if you know anything about what's been happening in Afghanistan, you won't be surprised to hear that the last couple of years have been extremely challenging for them. Families have had to leave their homes, they've lost loved ones, there's been socioeconomic distress, and much more. Also, rules from the Taliban about who's allowed to do what have constantly been changing. For instance, right now, women and girls are banned from getting an education after the sixth grade. But since the Love Does School is a primary school, they've been able to press on. And today, the school is a rare place both students and staff can be together and take some semblance of a break from what's happening outside the school walls. They can focus on learning and connecting with their teachers and classmates. In fact, for many students and staff, school might be the only place like this they have. To quote a recent report from Love Does, while the road ahead is unclear, we're committed to fighting for the students' right to education and overall well-being. Meanwhile, here in the US, Love Does has also been supporting and caring for new friends, refugees who recently moved from Afghanistan. Besides providing a supportive community, Love Does also gave these families hundreds of bags of groceries last year and furnished 17 homes. They even got to take some of those families to Disneyland because whimsy has exponential returns. My words, not theirs. So. Why am I telling you this? Well, partly because I care a lot about education and serving people well, and I think the work Love Does is doing is wonderful, but also because you helped make this happen. Depending on who you are, I might actually be talking to you personally, there, on the other side of the screen. You're doing great, by the way. Keep it up. Here's what I mean, though. Last year, when I talked about Love Does, that video was part of a larger fundraising event called The Project for Awesome. In summary, there's this amazing live stream, a ton of money is raised, and the community watches videos on different organizations and then votes on which organizations they think should receive some of the money. Well, last year, enough people voted for Love Does that they got a sizable grant from P4A, which was largely invested in the Afghanistan programs I just told you about. So those students, those families, they were supported in part because people, maybe even you, voted for Love Does, which is just the coolest thing. Oh my gosh. And guess what? The 2023 Project for Awesome is right around the corner. And if you vote for this video, there's an opportunity for Love Does to be granted some of the money that'll be raised in the coming weeks to keep investing in and caring for people around the world. So how do you vote? I will include a link and more information in the description of this video, but it's super simple. And if you'd like to participate in the Project for Awesome on a larger scale, you can learn more at projectforawesome.com. For now, thanks for being here. I hope you feel encouraged by the incredible things that can happen when people come together for good. And thanks for considering voting for Love Does. Until next time, don't forget to be awesome.